So what happens when you take too much zinc? What happens when you take five times more than you need? What happens when you take 10 times more than you need? What happens when you take 20 times more zinc than your body needs? What happens to your body and how serious could things get? Let's find out. So we all know that zinc is very important to take, but in this video, I'm gonna focus on what happens when you take too much zinc and I found seven things that can happen to your body if you take too much zinc. So let's kick things off with the first thing that might happen. The first sign that I want to discuss is nausea and vomiting. Now nausea and vomiting can happen at very high doses and when I say high doses I really do mean high doses typically over 225 milligrams in one go. Remember the recommended daily intake of zinc is somewhere between 15 milligrams to 30 milligrams so 225 milligrams is just massive and there was even a more extreme case of somebody who had very severe nausea at a 570 milligrams of zinc that's more than well nearly 20 times the recommended daily allowance to be honest that's just complete madness even in the name of science this shouldn't have really happened someone taking that much just to test it out it's also worth mentioning that Nausea and vomiting can happen even at lower doses of 150 milligrams per day. And of course, nobody would even go near this 100, 150 milligrams per day because even that is still a massive dose, way higher than you are recommended to take per day for zinc. Of course, if you find this content valuable, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's move on to the second problem. Second sign is tummy pain and diarrhea. Now, this can be uh, a fairly common and mild side effect of taking zinc, even if you take it at normal doses. Um, I've actually had some tummy pain when I first started taking zinc, but it went away within a couple of days and it was very mild. But at very high doses, you can have severe tummy pain and or diarrhea. And there was even one case of somebody who had a bleed in their tummy from taking, um, sorry, that should say 220 milligrams. So they took 220 milligrams twice a day for several weeks um, of zinc for acne, which is really crazy high dose. And unfortunately they had a bleed in their tummy. So it just shows you how serious the side effects or the issue, the complications can be if you just take crazy high amounts of zinc that you read online or read somewhere, stick to the daily recommended dose. One thing really important I want to get through, if you take nothing else from this video, make sure you take this. This video is about taking too much zinc. So please don't look at this video and say, oh, if I take zinc, this is going to happen. When you take zinc within the recommended daily limits, none of this, or they're very, very, very unlikely to happen. So make sure you understand this. This is about taking too much zinc. The third symptom is feeling under the weather, feeling off, feeling just not feeling yourself, having maybe some chills, headaches, possible fatigue, and just generally feeling off. It's a, this is a very common side effect of taking too much zinc and also taking too much of other minerals. So if this happens to you, don't just focus on the zinc, explore what other supplements you are taking, check if you're taking the right amount of, the right amount of those supplements, and of course, always disclose your supplement history to your healthcare provider. If these symptoms persist and you end up going to your healthcare provider, tell him or her exactly what supplements you're taking and how much of each supplement. By the way, if you have any questions so far about the video, about anything, about any points I missed or something you want to know, just leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. It's not so much of a symptom, but it kind of a consequence of taking too much zinc. Apparently, it lowers your good cholesterol. Remember, we have good and bad cholesterol. We want more of the good cholesterol and less of the bad cholesterol. And uh, this good cholesterol is called HDL cholesterol. We want more of it. But apparently taking too much zinc tends to lower the amount of good cholesterol we have. And obviously if we have too, too little good cholesterol and too much bad cholesterol, it puts us at a high risk of things like heart trouble and strokes. It's not good. So the science shows that if you regularly take zinc doses of over 50 milligrams per day, remember the recommended range for most people is between 15 milligrams and 30 milligrams. So if you take regularly take over 50 milligrams per day, then you put yourself at higher risk of this issue. But the good news is if you stick to the recommended daily intake of 30 milligrams per day, this has 
but the science shows that this had no effect on your HDL for people taking it up to 14 weeks. So they tested people taking just the usual dose of zinc per day and they did not have this issue, which shows a stick to the daily recommended allowance of zinc. This is a bit of a funny one. Apparently taking too much zinc changes your sense of taste. So you're gonna be end up looking like that girl, can't taste anything, everything tastes horrible. So zinc is important for taste sense. So you need to take zinc for your taste sense to be normal. So too little zinc is not good and too much zinc is also not good. So you want to stay within that nice normal range. And you might be asking, okay, so what kind of taste will I get if I take too much zinc? Apparently the, the science says it's um, like a metallic taste. It's a horrible metallic taste that takes over your sense of smell. So everything you eat or everything you drink just tastes metallic. And it's worth mentioning that this issue was more common in people taking the zinc supplement in, in the form of lozenges or liquid. So even at normal doses, if you take liquid zinc or lozenge zinc, you might have some taste disturbance. If you're taking it in tablet form or capsule form, you should be absolutely fine. The human body is a wonderful machine. If you take too little of something, usually it's a problem. If you take too much of something, usually it's a problem. This is why we need to listen to the science and stick to the recommended amount by science. Copper deficiency can be a sign and a symptom of taking too much zinc. This is an issue a lot of people raised in my previous video about zinc's, um, the benefits of zinc, which is they're right in raising it, but this is only an issue if you take too much zinc. If you take normal amounts of zinc, this should not be an issue. The reason is that zinc and copper compete for absorption. So if they are in your tummy at the same time, the zinc and copper are gonna compete. And obviously if there's too much zinc, it's gonna just outcompete the copper for absorption. So obviously taking too much zinc can deplete your copper stores and copper is an essential mineral. It's really vital, you need it. And the reason you need it is it's important for the formation of red and white blood cells. Red cells, remember, are the ones that help carry oxygen. If you don't have red cells, no oxygen. So obviously that's bad. And the white, cell, white blood cells are the ones that protect you from infections. You know, they're, they're your immune cells. So obviously you need them as well. By the way, if you have any questions so far about the video, about anything, about any points I missed or something you want to know, just leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So too much zinc can suppress the immune system, but the right amount of zinc can actually boost it. So it's a very delicate balance. You take the right amount of zinc, then that boosts your immune system. You take too much, then that can suppress it. And the way this happens is that too much zinc for some reason prevents um, T cells working properly. T cells are very important immune cells. They kind of um, fight bacteria and they get them out of your body. And very large doses of 150 milligrams twice a day were tested. So obviously nobody is going to go near this um, level of dosing, this huge level of dosing. Of course, these doses are enormous and I hope nobody watching this video will ever go anywhere near this. But the good news is the evidence for this is actually still weak. Some studies have shown that this is, you know, this can happen, the immune system can be suppressed. But then again, in other studies, people have taken very high doses and the immune system remains normal and healthy. Now a question for you. Have you experienced any of these symptoms and signs yourself, even when you took uh, zinc within normal limits? Let me know in the comments below and I'll tell you whether this is something to do with zinc or maybe something else. Take care and see you soon.